Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the long overdue return of a closer look. Yes, so going forward, I'm going to try again here, and we're going to do a closer look every Sunday, uh, time and energy permitting. Uh, yeah, so I figured we'd just pick up right where we left off uh, when we last did these. Um, we were taking a look at the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe sets from uh, the sadly defunct VCI Eclipse. So we last left off, we had taken a look at all of the He-Man sets and all of the She-Ra sets. So next on the uh, list, we have what many fans consider to be the bastard stepchild of the He-Man franchise. The New Adventures of He-Man. Yes, also referred to as He-Man in Space by those self-same fans. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah. New Adventures of He-Man DVD sets today on A Closer Look on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back! I probably should have put these down before we came back from the titles, but, uh, yeah, so New Adventures of He-Man. This originally aired for one single 65-episode syndicated season in 1989 to 1990. Now, 1989 for me, that was the year that I moved out to Selkirk, Manitoba and had my first apartment of my own. Um, yet somehow... I, I missed this. I, I mean, I was watching cartoons at the time. There was a lot of cartoons I watched. I was collecting them on VHS and and whatnot. But uh, somehow, New Adventures of He-Man just slipped by me, and I never actually checked it out. Maybe it just wasn't on in my area. That's entirely possible. I mean, that's that's kind of the, the crapshoot with syndicated shows, is um, if it isn't picked up in your market or on a channel that you can get, then... Too bad. <laughs> Guess you don't get to see it. Uh, and that happened to me with a lot of shows, uh, like Starcom, the U.S. Space Force, another one I really enjoy, uh, was never picked up by a channel that I could receive. I, I would see it in the TV guide, but because the TV guide for my area would sometimes list channels from other, uh, you know, that were nearby or in the same market. But, uh, but yeah, but they weren't channels that I could actually get. They were like U.S. channels or what have you. Uh, Adventures of the Galaxy Rangers was another one. That uh, you know, I read an article about, really wanted to see it because I thought it looked awesome, and then it just never showed up in my area. So I suspect the same thing happened with the New Adventures of He-Man, and I just never got around to, uh, just never had the opportunity to see it. So I kept hearing about this He-Man in Space series, and I'm like, really? What? Like I had no idea what what these fans were talking about. I I'd never seen that. I was like, do you mean like in in the original series when he would go into space sometimes and but no no they were talking about this this which is uh, an interesting chapter in the he-man legacy i mean it's generally uh, i mean it's not really part of the the overall canon of the original series nor does it tie into the 2002 series it just kind of stands alone um loosely based on concepts from the original but it very quickly goes off in its own direction um I mean, it doesn't even take place on Eternia. It takes place... Where does it take place? On some other planet. Uh, Primus. Yes, it takes place on Primus. No relation to the uh, uh, giant robot that created the Transformers. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it takes place on Primus. Now, one thing I have to say about this, uh, I, I really think that this is underappreciated. I think a lot of fans hated on it at the time. Uh, simply because it was so different from the previous 130 episodes of He-Man and 92 episodes of She-Ra that we had got. Um, because it, it, it had more of a sci-fi fantasy vibe to it, really, more than the, the, the more leaning towards fantasy with some sci-fi elements that the original had. This was way more sci-fi. I mean, it basically takes place, as I said, on another planet, and he's essentially helping a... Uh, uh, a people, a, a group of people who have been uh, subjugated by by good old Skeletor. Now, I have to say, Skeletor in this, uh, the character design is a little odd. They gave him eyeballs, um, so that that's kind of weird to see. But you very quickly get over that when you see the characterization of Skeletor in this. Um, 
I swear, he gets some of the funniest lines in this. He, he is just, like, okay, the Skeletor in the original series from the 80s was kind of a buffoon. The Skeletor in the 2002 series was just pure evil and really scary and a force to be reckoned with. This guy falls somewhere in between. He's, he's just kind of a jerk. <laughs> he's a jerk to He-Man. He's a jerk to his own subordinates. Um, I mean, there's a scene in the pilot episode where he orders one of his subordinates to hold his breath, just out of spite, just because he's pissed off about something. Orders him to hold his breath, and the guy does, and then he forgets to tell him to stop holding his breath until the guy's basically turning blue. It's like, oh, yeah, you can stop holding your breath now. <laughs> there's just all these little moments with this, this version of Skeletor that I have to say really um, elevate the series above the, the shit reputation that it gets. And, um, I, I think, uh, y you know, in whole or in part, based on the characterization of Skeletor in this version, it's, it's worth a look. If you haven't checked it out before, just put your preconceived notions aside, take this as its own thing, and enjoy it on its own merits, because there's a lot of merit to be had here. Now, that said, I have not had the the opportunity to sit down and watch the entire thing. I just kind of watched the first few episodes to get a taste for it. Um, eventually, I do plan to to actually watch it properly. Um, that's kind of a goal for this year, actually, is I'm going to be watching a lot of cartoon sets that have been sitting on my shelf for a while. I figure I've owned them for God knows how long. I should really watch them. Um, a lot of them I've watched in part, but uh, I want to you know sit down and have a good, good, proper, hearty, meaty watch. So, uh, yeah, so that's enough rambling for me. New Adventures of He-Man is awesome. Check it out. You will really enjoy it. I think you'll find it a very pleasant surprise. So without any further ado, let's head on down to the black box, and we'll take a closer look at the glorious, lovely packaging from the BCI Eclipse sets of the New Adventures of He-Man. <laughs> All right, here we go. He-Man, The New Adventures of He-Man, Volume 1 from BCI Eclipse. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, uh, as we can see here, it's, uh, I don't know how well you can see, yeah, there you go, you can see the uh, embossing there. So it's all nicely embossed. The lightning is shiny. The logo is embossed. Very, very nice indeed. And then if we take a look on the back here, you can see, uh, you can see all the special features and some lovely artwork here again we have uh some glossy some matte screenshots are matte or uh, glossy uh the sorceress is glossy and there you go so very very nice indeed all right so let's uh open this bad boy up so on the spine here we have skeletor with his eyeballs let's just give that a little focus there there we go and then on this spine we've got uh the first of two parts of the mural that are included in this collection. Let me just uh, adjust the focus again here. There we go. That's a little better. So much like the others, just kind of uh, slides out like that. And uh, just like the others, I don't remember any of the characters' names, so we'll just take a look here and see what we've got. So there we go. Very nice. And then on this side, we got He-Man and, uh, <clears throat> and and the boys from Primus. Yo yo. <laughs> Very nice indeed. There's a there's a better shot of Skeletor being all crazed. <laughs> and we open this up and we got our inserts there, which we'll take a look in a moment. And there we go. So very similar design to the uh, to the previous sets where uh, we have the uh, the character quotes basically from episodes and. Uh, there we go. And don't worry, this does not scratch the discs. The hubs are have the discs lifted off of the uh, circles there. So as you can see, the artwork on the actual uh, discs continues into the background. Very nice. I'll just give you a nice look at the uh, backgrounds here. 
Ah, what am I doing? There we go. Set those aside. And there you go. So now you can actually see the background fairly clearly. You're kind of a... Yeah, I don't, I don't know who any of these characters... It's been, it's been quite a while since I actually watched this show. And as I said before, even though uh, I watched it and enjoyed it immensely and wanted to watch more, I just got sidetracked and I never got back to it. So one of these days, one of these days. So then if we go this way, I'm actually going to spin this around in my hand here because that's a little too far to spin, I think. And there we go. We go. And same uh, same motif as the previous sets. We basically have good guys and bad guys across both halves of the set. So there we go. There we go. And Skeletor right there. Awesome. See, they, they really gave his, uh, his face more character. And I think maybe that's why they did the eyeballs, was to be able to have him be a little bit more expressive. Because the, the characterization of Skeletor in this, as I said before, is, is really a treat. So it's great to be able to have that character be more uh, uh, expressive, I guess, in terms of uh, facial expressions and whatnot. And I think that's, that, that's sort of the argument in favor of the eyeballs there, is that <clears throat> it allows for that. Put these back in here. All right, and we'll take out the inserts and take a look here and see what we've got. All right, so I'm uh, just going to adjust the focus here so that we can get a nice, proper, up close and personal look at the inserts. There we go. All right, so here we have the insert book. Quite nice. And then on the back, we have uh, basically just a, a look at some other stuff. Um, I do have all of these, actually. Uh, great stuff. Love Blackstar. Did a video about that a while back. I don't know if I've ever actually watched Space Sentinels and Freedom Force. I'm sure I've seen some of it, because I do recall seeing Isis in a cartoon before. Groovy Ghoulies is, is hilarious fun. Uh, Rosie watched that quite a bit when she was younger. And then, of course, He-Man and She-Ra. There you go. So, taking a look inside the booklet, as you can see, we have, oh, hold a second, there we go, we have full episode guides to uh, full listings of what's on each disc, and as before, you know, little trivia tidbits and such uh, here and there, sort of sprinkled throughout. Sorry, I keep slipping out of my hand there. There we go, so disc three, disc four. Yeah, really nice. Uh, one nice thing about BCI is, I mean, they were uh, they were a collector's set company. Oh, and look at this. They're showing the uh, the mural, where everything fits together in the mural. It's like, you, this one goes here, and then these ones will be something else. Ooh, mysterious. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Very cool indeed. Uh, so special features on disc six, and that's that. Let's see what we have for special features here. Um, just while I'm looking at that, I'll, uh, I'll let you look at this. All right, so we have two brand new documentary features bring viewers a comprehensive look inside the creation of this children's animation program and popular comic book series, including interviews with the writers, artists, publishers, experts, and more. Creating the New Adventures of He-Man. In this half-hour documentary, we learn behind-the-scenes magic of the genesis of the New Adventures of He-Man as writers and historians reveal all the secrets... The comic book adventures of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Like animation, comic books were a natural fit for He-Man and his friends and foes. And this documentary will take viewers on a four-color adventure exploring the history and excitement of He-Man's comic book legacy. Very cool. There's actually been a lot of uh, He-Man comics over the years. Let's adjust the focus a little bit there. Um, two collectible 4x6 exclusive He-Man art cards by acclaimed artists Brian Hitch and Ed McGuinness. We'll take a look at those in just a second here. Uh, do, 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 do. 50 detailed profiles of various characters, creatures, and artifacts, art gallery, commercial bumpers, trivia, and fun facts, facts a uh, DVD-ROM feature, multiple scripts, and the series Bible, uh, English and Spanish language audio tracks for all 33 episodes. I know a lot of my Spanish viewers will appreciate that. Ink and paint trailers, basically trailers for other comic or other uh, cartoon sets. And slipcase features a spine art mural which continues from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and flows into She-Ra, Princess of Power. Yes, folks, it flows into She-Ra. That, that's what it actually says. It flows into She-Ra. 
All right, all right, enough of that. Art cards, let's look at the art cards. And I don't even have to move the camera around because they're the same angle. So there we go, we'll just uh, zoom in a little bit, I think. And touch up the focus, and there we go. All right, so here we got, uh, <clears throat> we got Merman and uh, the bastard love child of Black Panther and Baron Karza, apparently. So, yeah, there you go. Very cool. So this one is by Ed McGinnis, number 13 of 16. So, yeah, there you go. So this actually fits into the, uh, you know, the ongoing series of art cards that we've been seeing throughout the sets. And then here we've got the other one. Very, very nice. Very nice, very nice indeed. You got Skeletor and He-Man duking it out. And uh, who we got in the background here? A couple of other villains. I, I'm even less familiar with the characters in this one because it's not as well known as the others. So this is by uh, uh, Brian Hitch. And there you go. And that's number 14 of 16. All right, cool. So let's, uh, we'll just quickly put all this back together here. Give, uh, give the focus a little whack. There we go. And then, uh, oh, no, we go this way, don't we? Yeah, we go this way. And, uh, oh, and there's uh, sort of Skeletor's rock in space. <laughs> See, it's in space. He meant in space. Yeah. Um, yeah, I apologize that I don't have more to say about the actual show. Um, as I say, I mean, I. I, I have seen a few episodes of it, but it's been so long. Honestly, the only thing I remember about it was I liked it. <laughs> and I really liked Skeletor in it. So, yeah, I'll definitely be visiting this one properly at uh, at some point. So, okay, here we have Volume 2. Quite nice. Uh, this one has another piece of the mural on it. And uh, this time we get uh, He-Man. I'm not going to bother folks. You, you can tell what that is. I get He-Man on the spine. So it's like you get, like the other one had He-Man on the cover, Skeletor on the spine. This one has Skeletor on the cover, He-Man on the spine. So they're both represented in some form on each cover. And then on the back here, we've got, uh, got all of these guys. And this basically gives you the latter half of the series. Okay, so it's 32 episodes. So the first one is uh, 33. The Magic Syndication number of 65, folks. There you go. Monday through Friday, five days a week. Take a look at the uh, quotes and screen grabs on the... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if these are actually screenshots or recreations of artwork because they seem really crisp and beautiful. And there's basically the same cover art there. Let me open it up. Got a couple more uh, quotes there. Go this way. We got He Man and Skeletor there. And here we go. Oh, these ones are actually kind of straight. Alright, there we go. So these are uh, the, these are guys who live on Primus that He Man teams up with. Um, it, it, the first thing I thought of when I saw these characters was Sky Commanders. I don't know if you've ever seen that short-lived Hanna-Barbera series, Sky Commanders, based on a toy line. It is available on DVD now. I will pick it up at some point. Actually, I, I really liked it at, <laughs> at the time. Except, uh, as always, I can barely remember anything about it other than I liked it. So we got uh, the inserts here. We'll take a look at those in just a moment. And then we got this lovely building here. Kind of. I think it's kind of He-Man headquarters. I don't think we actually have a gray skull in this one. Maybe that was another thing fans didn't like about it. I don't know. Anyway, just adjust that ever so slightly. I'm not going to bother taking the discs out, actually, this time, because you can tell. You, you, I mean, it's the same artwork underneath. Why would I bother? It's not anything different. So there you go. So we got some more of the, of the baddies. Oh, my God. Seriously? Magnetic sticker right there. That's great. Thanks for sticking that right on the frickin' box. Like that's I, I'm never going to take that off now because it it would ruin it would put like a big rip in the artwork there. So fuck you very much, whoever did that. Ugh. God damn, I hate that shit. 
It's like, just throw it in. Like, I've seen some where they just kind of throw it in. Like, it's on the sticky backing. It's just, it's in the package somewhere. But it's not stuck to anything. Ugh, hate that. All right. So let's take a look at the booklet here. So we got the booklet. Zoom in just a tad. Get the focus a little nudge. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so uh, there's the cover. And there's the back where we get uh, just some more ads for other He-Man and She-Ra stuff. Hey, in case you didn't know, Volume 1 is available too. Oh, gee, really? Yeah, because I totally buy Volume 2 before Volume 1, you know. No, not really. All right. And then here we got uh, episode guides again, disc-by-disc -disc breakdowns, trivia tidbits and uh stuff like that take a look here very nice take a look here oh and look at that another another picture of the mural very cool all right we'll take a look at the art cards actually no i'm gonna make you wait because otherwise you might skip skip ahead while i'm reading through the extras i don't want you to do that so just focus there. You look at Skeletor and all his yellow-faced, red-eyed glory. And I'll read to you the list of extras here. All right. So on disc six, once again, we have the special features. Uh, got two more documentaries. Uh, we have the fans of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. A surprising and emotional visit with some of the top aficionados of Eternia's greatest heroes. The fans who have kept He-Man on top with websites and conventions. And the power of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. In this final documentary, over 40 He-Man professionals who have, been interviewed, uh, who have been interviewed in this exhaustive documentary series share their thoughts on the legacy and power of He-Man. Very cool. Uh, two collectible art cards, which we'll take a look at in a moment. 50 detailed profiles of various characters, creatures, and artifacts. Trivia and fun facts. Uh, facts. English and Spanish language audio tracks for all 32 episodes. Ink and paint trailers. And slipcase features a spine art mural, which continues... From He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, and flows directly into She-Ra, Princess of Power. Yes, it just flows into her. <laughs> so wrong. So wrong. All right, there we go. So yeah, you can see, you can see for yourself right there. Let me just zoom in on that. See, it flows into. I. <laughs> I know, I'm I'm a dirty, dirty old man. What can I say? All right, so next up, uh, art cards. Here we go. So we got this one. Very nice. Really, really love these art cards. This is something you do not get with the Mill Creek re-releases of, of He-Man. And uh, you do get some extras, but you, again, you don't get everything. So, uh, so here we go. So we got that. And this one is by Gene Ha. You can uh, read a little bit about him there. Very nice. I like how they show kind of the sketch version as well. Sort of show, give you a, a little bit of insight into the making of the art card. And here we go. We can probably zoom in on this a little more. Because it's, this one's widescreen. There we go. All right. So quite nice. Nice uh, character group shot there with a spaceship in the background. And this is by Matt Haley, and you can read a little bit about him there. Very, very cool. Alrighty. So, well, we'll just pull back a bit, and then we'll put everything back together here. I don't know what I'm humming. I'm just being silly. Alright, put all that back together. Uh... Where are we going? Here we go this way. Slide that back in. There we go. Okay. Ta-da! The New Adventures of He-Man. Not and the Masters of the Universe. It's just He-Man. That's it. It's him against the entire universe. No, not really. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So there you go. Let's head back to the chair. So there you go. As with all the BCI sets, they did a really nice job on this one. It's a shame that this one kind of came out when they were moving away, uh, you know, trying to cut costs a little bit and didn't have the embossing. But, you know, what can you do? You still get the nice, uh, uh, you know, consistent design and whatnot. So, I mean, it all fits together quite nicely. And then, of course, the, the other two pieces of the mural 
Yes, getting ever closer to completion. Very cool. And uh, and that's that. Well, I guess technically speaking, if you were buying them in the stores, that's the last two pieces of the mural that you would be able to get. The uh, the actual last slat of the mural was uh, was only available in a box set collection of all three volumes of the 2002 series, and it was the uh, the, the back spine of the box set. Um, would form the last piece of the mural. And, uh, and the problem with that is it was a Best Buy exclusive, so it was in, produced in really limited numbers and is super hard to get now. Um, I've seen them out there in, in other fans' collections who just you know snapped them up at the time. Um, and once in a blue moon, they show up on eBay, but you know expect to pay collector's prices for that. That's the one thing I don't have from the BCI Eclipse He-Man collection, basically, is the... Uh, is that Best Buy box. <laughs> the last stinking piece of the mural. Oh well, I've got everything else, so can't complain too much. Alrighty, that is it for this week's edition of A Closer Look. Hope you enjoyed it. Just like to take a quick moment to thank my Patreon sponsors. Thanks, Patreon sponsors. You guys and gals are awesome. Special big thanks to Kyle Pellegree, who is still my highest level sponsor. Really appreciate the support, dude. And really appreciate the support of everyone else as well. You're all helping to make it possible for me to do this a lot more often. And uh, you probably noticed I've been pumping out a lot more videos lately. Well, that's largely thanks to the Patreon supporters. So... The more support I get, the more I can do for you. So let's let's make it happen. All right. That is it for me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching, and sayonara. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot to mention something. Uh, you may be wondering, hey, it, it ha has this been re-released in any form? Is it actually obtainable? Well, to be fair, even though these have been out of print for a while, it's, as I say, not one of the more loved He-Man shows. So you can usually find these sets fairly inexpensively if you shop around a little bit. Just check Amazon and eBay. Um, as far as re-releases go, Mill Creek did release uh did re-release the original series and uh the 2002 series in complete form however they only released re-released the new adventures of he-man in partial form um specifically in this set here the 30th anniversary he-man set which uh, i think i've shown you before um yeah, it has like 20 episodes. I think the first 20 episodes of New Adventures of He-Man. And uh, I guess they just determined there wasn't enough demand for it, so they never did a full re-release. So the only way you can get it in re-release form is in that collection. Um, only way to get it in complete form is to track down these sets. I mean, the, the 20 episodes are included in the 30th anniversary set. Don't even cover the first volume here. I mean, this is, what, 32, 33 episodes, something like that. So, yeah, anyway, um, it's, it's not even all of those. So... Uh, yeah, so that's basically the only options you've got as far as getting uh, New Adventures of He-Man. It's unfortunate that they didn't include the entire set, because then that 30th anniversary collection really would have been the definitive He-Man collection, having literally every single He-Man TV series ever. Um, what can I say? Uh, that said, it is still a pretty damn cool set, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to poke around for some Amazon links for you, so check in the description and you will see those there. And, of course, uh, you know, using my links does help to support the show as well and get some cool DVDs on your shelf. So you can't complain too much about that, I don't think. Alrighty, definitely uh, it for me for now. So we'll see you next time. Talk to you later.